All right, how are we doing Lincolnwood Baseball? Sean Marshall here again. We'll go over a couple of things that we can do indoors to help our, our mechanics of our throws, okay? I made a couple of things here. Everybody's got these things at home. You got a sock at home. You got a dish towel at home. Uh, these are for, this is for a towel drill. All right, just a little tape right there. I just use a little painter's tape. Whatever kind of tape you got, let's split that towel in half, fold it in half, give yourself a nice little grip. All right, we're gonna use this to see what our, how our arm speed is. Get a little snap at the end right there. See if our elbow is whipping a little bit. Everything I made, I put a baseball in a sock. We, we give you guys some socks when with baseball. Everybody's got a sock at home, especially a long sock. It'll work. Uh, drop the baseball in that sock. Again, just a little something so we can show a little bit of how our hand is working, how we create a little arm speed, a little whip, just to create a little bit of boom, a little traction behind that, that ball on our, on our throw hold is what we call them. Uh, but those two things I made. I put a ball in a sock, just so I can grab it. I can still feel the seams inside there, right about there. And I made a towel for our towel drill. Both these things will work. Whatever you want to use at home, whatever you're most comfortable with, let's try it out. Uh, so a couple of drills we like to use for our pitchers. Um, we start on our knees, something, something super simple. I know that we're not going to be doing a whole lot of throwing inside. If you have a chance to go outside, the weather's getting, weather's getting nicer, and it's going to get nicer, especially this weekend. Maybe go in your backyard or going to the park, you know, maintain your social distance. But uh, do a little throwing thing. A couple things we like to, to work on is getting our backspin on our pitches. Again, we talked about our grips. For this drill, I like the four-seamer, all right? I get my glove, I got my throwing partner, or I got my throw holds or whatever I got with my towel, and I just work on getting my hand out front, working on my grip, hand position, kind of support my elbow right here, and work on my throws. If you have a sock net or something at home, or you have a wall you want to throw against with a tennis ball or something, a little softer, go for it. But I like to see this. Get in your legs a little bit, you know, flex your core a little bit, and we're right here, out front. I want to see you boom. And if you're able to throw that ball, I want to see some good backspin, see that ball come off your fingers, and backspin, nice true seam. Boom, you know, repeat that maybe 10, 15 times, boom, right here. I can support my elbow with my glove. I just want to make sure you guys are on top of the ball, especially at release point, getting that true backspin. It's so important to feel your fingers. I say it all the time, get on top of that ball, guys. I want to see your hands get up as a pitcher. Boom, get on top of that ball. Fingers are on top of that ball at release point, which creates the most torque, the most power, the most spin on those pitches. So this is a little simple drill. And a lot of us have seen it before. Uh, a lot of YouTube videos on some of these throwing things too that you can look into. There's a lot of information on the internet, on YouTube. These, these players, these former players giving back, giving some good instruction. But this is one drill we start off with. One of little hand flips right there, support the elbow. Boom, back and forth, working on our backspin. All right, you can do it with your towel. If you want to feel a little pop right there, boom, boom. Okay, just a little bit of, you hear it. Okay. Second drill we like to work on is kind of getting our shoulders squared up. Same thing, we're out front. We can work on turning our, creating a little bit of tension in our core, closing off that front shoulder. If you have a sock net to throw into, or a tennis ball to throw against the wall or wherever, or if you want to do the dry holds with the towel, that's fine too. We come up. Get in our position, we close those shoulders up first, boom. As we do that, we break our hands out and back and up. Make sure we're getting that, that ball or that towel pointing away from us. We close it up, finish right there, right up front. Notice my front side, it's so important. I, I see a lot of players that have bad control that really whip that glove out, okay? They pull that front side out. Even the video, you see, it's just gonna boom, just fly open, all right? That's one of the biggest problems of major league pitchers that have in poor control that day, of, of little leaguers that have in poor, poor control out there, is the front side is so important to keep that front side on target. Boom, close it up, boom, and forward. If you start pulling that glove out, it's thrown rotational, and that creates just multiple problems, okay? So another drill, boom, our hands are in front, we got our towel or our baseball in our sock, or if you wanna do throw holds, we're just holding the ball, boom. We close it and throw and hold, okay? Close it, boom. Front side is important. Get them. I turn to a fielder anyways. So that's another drill we can work on. Maybe 10 to 15 of those, all right? Next one I like is the one knee drill. We get up and do our stride. Almost our stride length, but we're on our knees, okay? Just about like this. I don't want to see your front leg tucked in here too close to you. I want to see you get a little bit of distance, all right? Toes are pretty much pointed toward where we'd be throwing. Well, I'm going to say I'm throwing this way. I'm sitting up, I'm not sitting on my back leg. I'm up tall. Same thing, I'm gonna get my grip, whether I wanna do 
holds with the baseball. Boom, I get my grip, I close it up, close my shoulders up, creating a little tension right here. My hips are almost open. Boom, boom, I rock back, and throw and hold, okay? Rock back, throw and hold. Front side's important. Keep it in as long as you can. Boom, bam. Same thing here. A little bit of rock back, boom, on target, bam, okay? One more. Close, bam, maybe 10 or 15 of those. Just work on your body control. Get a little bit of that hips, a little bit of that torque going right there. Is another good thing. All right, we'll get out. If you have a rubber or something at home, this will be used for our next step. But anything you want to put on the ground, just kind of give yourself a marker of where your pitching mound could possibly be, okay? We'll get out into our stride distance, okay? I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm six foot seven. So I had a pretty long stride, you know? Sh uh, stretch it out a little bit. Don't get too tall. You know, they're not gonna get much out of that. I wanna see you guys start engaging your legs a little bit, okay? We get in our legs, open that front foot just a little bit. If you have a mound to work on, boom, right there. Same thing, we come up to our home base. I like to see a little bit of a weight forward here. And as I break my hands back, I break my hands down, back and up, getting that power position again. Got my weight loaded up here, and I'll do a throw hold. I'll do it with a towel on target. Rock it back, boom, right over the front leg. Okay, forward, break it right over the front leg. Okay, do you see how I create that direction towards my target? If I was pitching towards you guys, boom, I'm on target. Good stride, shoulders back, rock it back and break, boom, on target. Okay, one more. Break it, on target, okay? 10 or 15 of those, okay? We can break into our pitcher's mount or, you know, I got a plate or whatever you want to use. I got some two by fours here. You got some scrap wood around whatever works. We're coming up, we're coming set. As a pitcher, we don't address the rubber on top of the rubber. I like to see like the pinky kind of hanging on there. We're coming set, work on our balance point. We balance, we break and hold and separate it, throw and follow through a couple of those. Starting to blend it all together. We come set. Balance point. Break, throw. Okay, a couple of those. Do it all in one fluid motion, but make sure you pause at balance. Balance, break and go. Okay. A couple other drills I like to see my pitchers work on to really help their balance is the pickups. Get a couple balls out here. Put it right outside your throwing arm foot. We get up in our set position. Actually, I really just need one ball. In our set position, balance. We'll pick that ball up. We'll come back to balance. We'll drop it down. Maybe one or two of those. It's been a while since I had to do these exercises. Boom. We balance it, and then we can break and do our delivery. All right. You want to do one pickup. You want to challenge yourself with two pickups. You want to do three. You want to do a set of five. Go for it. We come set. Balance. Pick that ball up. Boom. Lock it in. A little, little wobble. Balance. Pick it up. Okay. Balance and delivery. A couple drills for you guys to do at home. I know you're not getting a whole lot of throwing in, but at least we can work on the other stuff. Working on our balance. Working on our core strength. Working on the way our hands break, down, back and up, okay? Front side on target, always so important. Get that front side in there, boom, bam, right there, all right? A couple things for you guys to work on. Hope you enjoyed it, get some work in. I uh, look forward to the next video.